There are 31 blockchain panels at South by this year. This is clearly the best one. This is the one where we're not going to lie to you. <laughs> exactly. We've got Kim Jackson, a co-founder of Singular DTV. Alex, you know, you all know him as an actor, maybe. I don't know, maybe you've seen Lost Boys, Bill and Ted's. Now he's working on Trust Machine, uh, the story of blockchain. And it will be the first documentary via Singular DTV funded and distributed on the blockchain. The easiest thing to understand is that it is a ledger. We're dealing with basically moving things around in the digital space in a way that would be verifiable and trust-based. Um, the internet is based on lists. It's, there have always been lists um, in that space. So uh, what's, what's interesting here is that it uh, appears to be, so far, um, a pretty uh, ironclad and verifiable ledger. Um, and once you have something like that, there's a lot of things you can build on top of that. So that's a, a cursory explanation. So if I could add to that, I think what really helps put it in context, blockchain technology is what an application called Bitcoin, which is a currency currently lives on, right? So there's a lot more um, capabilities of blockchain technology. So you're going to start to see a lot of applications built besides currency. And so just like the internet brought us instantaneous communication, blockchain is bringing us instantaneous peer-to-peer -peer direct value exchange. And so you can define that value in lots of different ways. And um, whoever Satoshi is introduced it to us in the form of currency, which I think is pretty genius way of introducing the technology. The internet started as a decentralized idea. The internet quickly became very, very centralized. It's actually probably the most centralized mechanism in the world today. Coming from the entertainment business, why is this concept of decentralization strike a chord with you? Why, why was it so interesting to you? Well, I think, how many people here are, are in film and entertainment that are in the room? Okay, so I see a lot of interactive badges too, so I just wanted to see how many film people are here. So the cool thing about, about this technology is it solves problems. So especially for independent companies and independent production companies, um, as we've seen technology bring us streaming video, and now we have VOD. Um, it's really changing the landscape a lot. And now we live in a world where content has moved around around so many different intermediaries, not just one. I'm just curious how you two connected. So you had this idea that there should be a documentary about blockchain. That, uh, what, what, yeah. what was lacking? What were you hoping to do? You know, Alex is, uh, we, we were very excited when we partnered with Futurism Studios, who's producing um, the documentary with Alex, and we started talking about directors, and Alex's name came up and was like, oh, do you think he's available? That would be amazing. And so, um, luckily, he is, and we're sitting on stage today. So, I think that you're really type, you're really perfect, because you do have a very objective um, uh, perspective mm -hmm. about the, the space, the people in the space, and you've been following it for so long, and and so um, we were very fortunate, and we're very excited about getting this documentary out to the audience soon. I mean, it seems like such an organic uh, decision for you to make a film about blockchain. I'm I'm most interested in community, and I'm most interested in people um, than I am in sort of technology. So I didn't really want to make a Bitcoin movie. <laughs> Um, I didn't find it that interesting, to be honest with you. And, uh, but as the blockchain community started to grow, that was really interesting. And so when uh, Futurism and Singular DTV came to me about a blockchain thing, I just cleared space for it because it felt like, you know, it's really interesting what's happening right at this moment. You know, because as Kim says, we don't, it's really early. We don't exactly know where it's going to go. It is going to end up under the hood. You know, we're not, we don't all talk about HTTPS, you know, yet we all use it today. And so there are hundreds of more coins and tokens than just Bitcoin. Polls now are saying sort of like trust in most major institutions is, is a sort of a low point in, in terms of the last, in the, in the last century. How does that notion of trust, you know, how do you, how do you, how does that change in this world? Well, I think that, that what's exciting about it is that there's always you know, attempts by societies to, to liberate themselves from whatever is holding power over them, right? So I think that you have a, a moment right now where a lot of people are beginning to realize that there is a possibility for technolo these technologies to help us create totally workable, decentralized systems. I do believe that sort of the, the decentralized kind of blockchain type heavy encryption technologies are going to fundamentally change things far more than the internet did. You know, this is brand new, and uh, 
the regulations are from the 1940s and there are no rules. So it was like, well, we're not doing anything illegal, but we're also not doing anything legal, technically. Um, I did want to make a comment about something you just said, which is um, blockchain decentralized technology is really going to connect us. It really, it really is. We're a bit disconnected right now, and that's because we're dealing with centralized technology. So decentralization means you know, where there's network, there's data, and where there's data, there's network. So we're building a platform in which you can have a channel, um, you know, have, have a shingle, have a mini studio, if you will, and you don't need the permission of gatekeepers to, to have that get to your fans. So you'll download an app and you, you'll, you know, you'll see EtherVision and you'll say, okay, I want to go listen to Grammatic. And so you can, you can then directly distribute to your fan base. You know, that doesn't exist today. You have to go through you know, all these different gatekeepers and hope they like your film and want to distribute it. It's about connecting us all instead of, of disconnecting us all. So we're going to, um, maybe we haven't covered absolutely everything yet and you've got a question you'd like to ask. You're in luck. If there's one thing that you each can share with us that's a takeaway from this talk, what would it be? Participate. Get, get involved. Don't be afraid of it. We are not an intermediary. We, we're an alternative. So we, we're not a distributor. We're not taking people's rights. We're, you know, we're not charging, you know, that typical type of distribution fee. So maybe that helps explain that a little yeah. deeper as well. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. You can find uh, more info on Singular DTV at their website. Alex's film will be out maybe sometime h hitting the festivals probably later this year, yeah. right, roughly, right? Back end of the summer, into the fall, somewhere in there. Great. Thank you all for coming. Thank really you so much, everybody.